I'm Mary. I'm Fred. And we are the Edel Campers. Campers. We're here today to talk about our Palomino truck. It's a pop, pop top slide in. There are vicious bugs out here. And it has actuators on it that lift the roof. Well, theoretically, they lift the roof. So we've had this for just over a year. <laughs> wonder if you saw that. As long as it keeps flying by, you know, it's when he stops, I actually get worried. So the, uh, anyway, the actuators are supposed to lift up the roof and you spend the time in it. And when you're done, you drop the roof down and uh, everything should be good, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that worked a couple times. We didn't, we didn't really use it a lot the first six months we were in it because we were in a, a drive mode. We were crossing the country. And, but, but we stayed a couple times, everything seemed to work fine. And then we went, got to our daughter's house and we were gonna do a little mooch docking in the driveway. And the actuator passenger side front wouldn't move, wouldn't budge, wouldn't go up. So we ended up sleeping on a air mattress in the den. Not, not very exciting or comfortable. Oh, he does want me to tell So we were story. in New Jersey. And I decided I wanted to go mooch dock with my girlfriend and old Navy buddy. And so I drove up there and stayed about what, two or three days. And we had a great time. So I started to put the truck camper uh, down. It is all, all electric. And I've been kind of looking at it just to make sure it's going down, or at least I thought. And all of a sudden I heard a big pop it was huge noise and i looked around to see what it was and the actuator wasn't moving and it just snapped it actually actually buckled the side of the um or the top of the truck camper and uh, so i called fred and did my best to tuck everything in and get it to go well didn't have to get it to go down because it kind of just fell but try to tuck all the canopy in and um, and head home to see if Fred could fix it. So so here I got a phone call. Mary's crying. She's broken the truck here. I thought she'd gotten in an accident, but uh, turns out that yeah, it's just the the pop top popped. So no real big deal. Kind of looked kind of funny. She's coming into the campground and it's got this big crooked L. Looks like an antenna, it. didn't it? Yeah, it did look <laughs> like an antenna. So uh, what I did was I moved one of the rear actuators to its position, of course I took it off, it was useless, and uh, was able to raise the front of the camper a little bit so we could we could tuck it in. Uh, didn't, didn't want to get to damage. We had a lot of driving, we were headed up to Maine. He'd been looking. You actually called Forest River and some other places trying to get a new one and couldn't, couldn't find one couldn't anywhere. Get them, couldn't get them out of stock. You know, supply, supply uh, chain issues as they call it, so. None to be had. So, uh, but there was a guy. I guess he had gotten some, and he had one left, and he, he would uh, he would send it to me free for shipping, which was what about one hundred and thirteen dollars. Mm. No, it was about eighty. I think it was eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Okay, yeah. it was expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the things aren't light, so okay, whatever. So we got that. Uh, he he had told me it was bad, but oh well. Uh, so what I did is I sat down. We were actually in Maine. Uh, up near Bar Harbor and uh, using the uh, workbench that they put at every campsite. It's really nice. I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, they put a really nice workbench made out of solid wood on most campsites. And uh, uh, Mary thinks it's a picnic table, but we what do I know? Better. What do Us I know? Us men know better. It's a workbench. So got out there, tore, tore the actuators apart, learned a lot about them. Then I figured out how to put them all back together. And the one I'd gotten in the mail, it was a, a, the nut that you used to ratchet it closed. I guess they had used it so much that they'd stripped it out. And uh, mine hadn't been used that much like that. So I just had to basically, so I had the good screw and it had the rest of it. And I, we had some broken gears in ours and uh, swap parts around, hooked it up, put it on, and lo and behold, it worked. 
So that was great. Uh, we finally went, where was, the, where was the next stop it broke? Oh, we were still in Maine. When it broke? Yeah. We were still in Maine because the, the, it ended up frying the uh, fuse or something like that. Oh, yeah, the control, the control box is, is a box full of fuses and uh, cleverly hidden, which we didn't, we didn't even know existed or where it was. I knew it was a box there. I had no idea what it did, which is basically between the fridge and the drawers on the left side as you go in. There's a big box there and a ton of fuses in it, and one of those had actually blown. So it, the system would have worked had the fuse not blown, but it did. So we got to, uh, uh, finally got a hold of uh, someone at Forest River and... Uh, Our warranty had just ran out. And yeah. we had found a, a place named Co named Como's over on the west coast of Florida that worked on Palominos. They ordered a brand new set of four since the warranty had expired a, a week prior. The, uh, I had to buy them, but they gave them to me for half price, a little over $900. And I would have to have a Forest River dealer install them. And uh, so we had them shipped to Como's. When we got down there, we made an appointment with Como's, went in, and uh, they had a little trouble finding them. It had been a while, but uh, they did find them, and uh, they put the four new ones on, which were basically the same as the old ones. Uh, Except they had little rubber boots on them. They had, well, they actually had condoms. brass. <laughs> they, oh, they did have the rubber, they did have the condoms. <laughs> And they had little brass bearings at the top of them to keep the water from coming in. Well, it appears that didn't work because about a month later, we were out camping in the truck camper and we couldn't get the roof up. Well, we got it up. We didn't, couldn't, couldn't get, it get it down. down. Couldn't and get it we'd down. only camped out three other times before mm, this right. happened. So and, we only... And they worked. So we got our money's worth. Yeah. So, you know, $300 a, a trip. Yeah. yeah. So it's not bad. And... Uh, uh, we also noticed at that time that the passenger rear one was going out. Well, I wasn't too happy. So I called up Forest River uh, and the main office and I talked to them and they said, well, you know, they can, they can uh, send me out another set. And I said, no, what's, what's the point? You're sending me the same broken things. He says, well, we've got these uh, ones made by Progressive and they're the newest thing out. They work great. Everybody who gets them loves them. So uh, I said, all right. And he goes, but I'm going to have to charge you for those. And because uh, they're not, they're not warranty because it's a new item. It's not, not warranty. They can, they'll replace the old ones, but not new ones. And, I, and I'm like, what? Very convoluted. So I said, so let me get this straight. Is three months ago, I paid $900 for a set of new actuators which were basically the same as the old actuators, right? And then now, three months later, they're already failing. I got one that failed, and I've got another one that's getting ready to fail. It was sticking. Because, yeah. you know, you, when, when you've done this a while, you'll know when they're starting to get grindy and the, the gears are going and stuff like that. And he said, well, I'll do you a, you know. Do you a solid. What, uh, not a solid, he said. Uh, uh. Anyway, so, yeah, so... Yeah, I'll give you a deal, and I'll go ahead and ship them to you. So they did. They shipped them out. Took us a uh, couple, couple more weeks to get back to Como's. I think we were down in Key West at the time, or we were down in the Keys. So we came back, and we were, we were headed out to Florida. Last stop in Florida here. So we're headed out to Florida. We kind of uh, broke our timeline. Just uh, We thought this was important information. A lot of people are asking about us on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. So we figured we, we throw together a quick video on it. Uh, we'll put some information down in the uh, description below on who we called, what we got, uh, you know, picture of the uh, label for the serial numbers and stuff like that, model numbers, and maybe we can help somebody else out. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have been having um, issues with the actuators. Mm, like everybody, if you have an actuator, you're having an issue. And if you're not having an issue, you're going to. <laughs> and, some people, yeah. and some people may not know it, but if you do get stuck, you can take a screwdriver or a drill 
and drill it up or down, but you can't do that too many times. Is that right? I guess, because as the one actuator, the used one we got, the, uh, there's a little plug underneath it, has a screwdriver slot in it, right at the base of the actuator, and you can put the screws in there, screwdriver in there, turn that, a little cap will come out, and then you can put your socket in there and turn it. And uh, usually the first couple times, you're just getting it unstuck. The uh, water gets in there and they rust. So uh, these are only for uh, the Palominos that have the actuators on the outside. They moved them from the inside to the outside, not realizing that they probably should have been waterproof outside. Yeah, what's the chance it's going to rain in Florida? And uh, so that caused the problem. They have a newer style than even the ones I've got. They're still progressives, but they're, uh, they have a, a, basically they have a, a horizontal motor. These still have a, a vertical motor, goes up and down, and uh, so it still has gearing. But uh, the amazing thing is they're, they're so quiet. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They're slow. They're slower than the originals, and, uh, and we'll let you hear some of that. Wow, it's amazing. You can't even hear them. No, you can't. They're not straining. Very quiet. Everybody was amazed. We were the first set that Como's had put on. So, anything else? Well, no, but if you are struggling with actuators, we've been dealing with this for almost, what, a, a year? year. Yeah. So if you have any questions, please let us know. We would gladly try to help you the best we can. And leave your comments because other people have this, these issues and they can learn something from you if they didn't learn anything from us. So, you know, because nothing worse than going out camping and getting out there and going to pop your roof and, you know, your weekend's over, go home. Or Although, trying to bring it down and go bring home. Bring some tools with you. <laughs> You'll get it up a few curse words later. But. All right. So we out of here? We're out of here. We're out of here. We're out of here. And we're campers. out of Florida. <laughs> Little campers. Oh, if, if, if you go back to watching our normal channel, we're still in Florida. Still and you're going to see a lot of this truck camper. Yeah. And we're, we, we, uh, we're, we're future Fred and Mary. Yeah. Okay. So, you know. We, we were never here. You didn't see us.